Hello everyone and welcome back. Uh, today we are going to be discussing uh, how to generate uh, PDF files in C++ Builder. Uh, there are several different approaches that you can take. Uh, one is, for example, that you can uh, print uh, your content directly into PDF using PDF printer. Uh, the second approach is uh, to, uh, for example, use a free uh, PDF library called the Power PDF. You can find it in Get It Package Manager and type here PDF okay and here it is I already installed it for the purpose of this demonstration and once you install it you will get uh, this set of components here so how to uh, generate that PDF first we will um, drag and drop this uh, report component and then we are going to uh, create a page so this is a visual component, this is a non-visual component and uh, in order to uh, generate PDF uh, it's pretty much like we are uh, generating a report, right? Uh, first we need to uh, use a layout, for example a layout panel or, or a, a grid panel. Uh, let's use a layout panel here and uh, we'll align it across the entire page and uh, here we can place something for example um, let's call this uh, a report and uh, then add a text uh, that can be a multi-line text here so I'll just type something okay then of course you can um, add uh, some shapes like rectangle like a, like a ellipse uh, like uh, uh, any image from some file uh, that's loaded from some file you can uh, add annotations uh, and so on and so on so uh, pretty much this is the way you generate the content of the PDF file and once you want to generate the PDF itself uh, well we'll click on this button and when clicking on this button what it will do it will specify a file name for that PDF uh, begin document and add document and in between we are just going to uh, print that page that we just uh, designed here this page this is a page one we are going to print it as a part of that document and uh, pretty much that's it so let's see okay and uh, when I click uh, okay so this is the folder here when I click save to PDF or save PDF um, I will open it and uh, here is my PDF so that's the same one that we uh, designed uh, right here so that's uh, a second approach that you can use uh, by using this uh, free uh, PDF uh, power PDF uh, library but also um, there is a third approach and that is uh, by using directly some of uh, uh, report generators uh, for example uh, in uh, one of the previous cases I demonstrated how you can uh, uh, generate a report using a fast report so I'll open that project here okay and uh, if we uh, run this application uh, I can see for example a report for all students and this is the report that uh, uh, we get as a result of course uh, we can design it at will but the point is if you use a, a, in this case a fast report uh, generator then you can automatically save that report uh, into a PDF file without even showing it to a user so if I click this button what it will do it will specify a file name uh, where it will generate a report uh, meaning uh, uh, where it will save the report as a PDF file and the uh, user will actually not even be aware of uh, report generator uh, in, even exist in your application so let's uh, try this now we run this application and uh, uh, we see how this report uh, looks like okay but I'm just going to say save to PDF okay 
the report has not been shown to a user uh, everything happened in the background and uh, here is the report if I open it I get my uh, uh, PDF shown here so in comparison to uh, power pdf i definitely vote for uh, a fast report uh, approach but again uh, when it comes to uh, accessibility uh, power pdf is a free library while a fast report is not free uh, a library so uh, there are pros and cons of different uh, of those approaches and it's up to you to decide uh, which one do you want to use uh, especially if you have a license uh, for a fast report i would definitely recommend it because uh, it's uh, it will allow you to create much more complex uh, documents and uh, uh, exporting it to uh, not just PDF but uh, exporting it to uh, RTF uh, image formats and such it, it is very easy and uh, with a minimum amount of code and uh, that's it thank you for watching and see you soon